Good morning to everybody that follows us in the message for the day. Today the message is just about the situation in Ukraine. We are having a group meditation at 12 p.m. Uh, New York East uh, Daylight Time EDT. Remember that you have changed the hour to daylight today. So 12 p.m. we are having a group meditation we will have people in the ashram uh, for unfoldment in New York and the ashram for unfoldment in Asturias in Spain. And we will have people connecting from uh, different parts of Spain and from Europe and from America. So you are all welcome to join. Uh, we will do a chant followed by a silent meditation in which each of us will direct our prayer in our own ways to project uh, the natural goodness that resides within the heart of every human being to this world of ours which is in turmoil because it is not just the war in Ukraine the world is fragmenting at this very moment it has been fragmenting in within societies and now it is fragmenting in the world the the, the interdependence of the countries is being broken, the ties are being broken, and fragmentation is precisely the contrary of what we teach. We teach integration. Um, this is going to bring uh, problems for a long time. Guru Raj advised about the... the the period of time that goes from 2020 to 2050 and I've been telling about this for the last 16 years because I can only also see it uh, not only because he said it but anyhow in his own words now I have been speaking about this for many years now that from the year 2020 to 2050, there will be man-made destruction. Not destruction by natural causes, but by destruction, unnatural causes. Technology has reached so far. There are so many inventions in this world today that have been suppressed. You, the latest you've heard of the neutron bomb that could kill off the people and yet preserve brick and stone. These things are all there. An entire town could be wiped out with just one pint of liquid thrown into a reservoir. All these inventions are there. Technology has not advanced man's evolution. So that is why meditation and spiritual practices are so necessary to open the heart of man, which is filled with love. So I do not deny mental development but today the world is very intellectually and mentally orientated. The concentration is mostly on the mind and on technological devices. But if the heart is opened, if one through meditation and spiritual practices reaches the kingdom of heaven within, then his mind can be flooded with the love that is within man. So here, a combination can take place of mind and heart, so that the heart could be the governing factor, the boss of the mind, and will not allow the mind to pursue the destructive tendencies it has. This is the general tendency 
we are in the midst of a very crucial period and man has to decide how to avert this tendency. And that is the purpose of our foundation, is to open up through meditational and spiritual practices the latent goodness that is in man so that it could permeate his mind and direct those mental energies not for a destructive purpose but a constructive purpose so uh, today uh, at 12 p.m uh, we will get all of us together and we will do at least a meditation I think that if we had done our job, uh, maybe the world would be in a better situation. But we haven't. Uh, although maybe we have done the best we can. And in any case, as we are not the doers, we know the one is there to blame. <laughs> so, in any case, uh, join us for this meditation. I hope there is always hope. But the situation is dire and mm, the only thing I can say is that it's only one day, it's just for today, tomorrow will be another day, tomorrow will be another practice and in reality tomorrow, tomorrow is another lifetime for the little eye that wakes up in the morning. But the divine that joins you and me, that is the only power that can change things. Namaste. <laughs>